Hello outlaws and hello campers. It's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Or, you know, if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Um, I suspect it may be some people's first time here just because this is a uh, sort of a review, unboxing, a whole just introduction to the uh, Iamaya four-person pop-up tent, which you can tell by the title. So um, if it is your first time here, you're just here for that, hit that subscribe button because it don't cost nothing. And now that you are subscribed, uh, it'll be so much easier for you guys to find the next episode where I actually attempt to do some camping in the Iamaya pop-up tent. Um, I do have to let everybody know that uh, the bulk of this video, which it's really not that long, you can tell by the runtime, um, it was uh, filmed over Canada Day weekend, 4th of July weekend, last year, 2023. Um, I think everybody knows, I mean, everybody that's been here uh, about the uh, horrible accident my girlfriend had. Uh, she was hit by a car while we were in a crosswalk in Syracuse. Uh, really don't need to get into that because everybody already knows. If you don't, you know, like I said, you're already subscribed. Go back through my catalog. Um, but the thing is, uh, I haven't been able to really get out and do a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to get to, uh, this weekend, but you know, that's all pretty much still up in the air. Um, so what I've had to do is sort of go back uh, through the archives. And, uh, while I was looking through old, uh, SD cards, I found all this footage of when I got the Iamaya four person pop-up tent. And now, everybody who uh, does watch my channel and uh, checks the comments and stuff, you guys know about Anonymous Camping. Anonymous Camping are the great people that sent me the Iamaya pop-up tent. Uh, they sent me t-shirts, uh, we've collaborated on like stickers and, and things. And we've also got um, probably the next two or three videos from here. I don't really know when, but I'm gonna have a really cool promotion coming up. I don't want to spoil it for you, but please make sure you hit that subscribe button and you stay tuned because I've got something that I'm going to be giving away that I think everybody's going to want to get in on. But um, before I even get to that, let me get to the point of this video because I've done way too much rambling, way too much talking. I mean, I got a beer here. I haven't even drank it yet, but I'm going to. Um, but before I actually do drink the beer, it's going to be a little different for you. Um, get on the uh, Outlaw Camper time machine with me. Uh, let's go back to uh, Canada Day, 4th of July weekend last year, and let's start to check out the Iamaya four person pop up tent. <laughs> Hello outlaws and hello campers, it's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Or, you know, if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Uh, I gotta tell you, man, if it is your first time here, um, don't waste any time. Hit that subscribe button, because it don't cost nothing. Um, it's uh, 4th of July weekend, guys. Uh, Canada Day weekend, 4th of July weekend. Canada Day was yesterday, 4th of July is well, it ain't tomorrow, it's the day after tomorrow. And uh, I am back here in the bowels of the suburbs of central New York. And um, I'm gonna do some good old fashioned outlaw camping. But before we even get into that, first things first guys, I got myself some fat tire here that the girlfriend picked up for me yesterday on Canada Day. Cause trying to find fucking Molson Canadian around these parts, yeah, it's a lost cause. But anyway, guys, here we go. First of the day. First of the day, fellas. Tell my subscribers, new and old, and whatever. This is you guys. Mm. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, Canada. A little late for one, a little early for the other. God damn, this fat tire's good. Um, anyway, guys, um, I want to do some camping. Um, it's 
been a long time. Uh, I think the last time I actually did anything even remotely near camping was uh, in the backyard. Uh, that was during the spring. It was my spring cold tent camp. I think you guys watched all that. Uh, I know that last one I got, man, tons of people in Washington. Here comes a fucking wind. Every time I try and make a goddamn video. Fuck, man. The wind, the wind is my enemy. So now, guys, uh, the reason that I am in uh, the front yard is because, um, you know, oh, man, I wasn't even on camera. But the reason that I'm in the front yard, guys, you can hear somebody's mowing their lawn up there. They're trying to get a mowed before it. Are you fucking kidding me? They got themselves one of them riding lawnmower thingies. Anyway, um, you guys probably have noticed I'm wearing my uh, original anonymous camping shirt. Shirt that these guys sent me a long time ago. And I gotta tell you man, anonymous camping. Thank you guys so much. Because what these guys have sent me is a new tent. And I'm gonna be trying this tent out today. And uh, we're gonna try and do some camping in it uh, over this uh, holiday weekend. What I got from my good friends at Anonymous Camping is a tent from Ayamaya. I know the box is upside down, but um, I got this probably about a week. Again, I, I'm not even gonna be able to get this out of the bag or box. Oh, there's some more in there. Well, look at this, guys. Um, this is uh, from Ayamaya. It is a, uh, well, it says it opens in six seconds. It's spacious, waterproof. has ventilation, a sun shield, and uh, anti-pest, whatever that means. Um, guys, this is supposedly one of those uh, tents that you could take out of the bag and throw up. You know, just kind of launch it into the air and it sets right up. Do I believe that? No, not really. But I will tell you, uh, Ayamaya, these guys, they're the guys that made my uh, underquilt for my uh, hammock. Uh, I'm not even sure I've ever even used that underquilt in a video, but I have used it several times. It's a great underquilt. So I'm hoping that this Ayamaya four person throw it out tent, um, hoping it lives up to the uh, same awesomeness as the uh, Ayamaya underquilt. Um, I'm not really sure about this guys, but let me show you this once again. Ayamaya, it's, uh, those are the specs on this tent. Um, I feel like I should probably unzip it a little bit, maybe get the instructions out, take a look at those. So I got the uh, instructions out here, uh, it says how to set up the pop-up tent, uh, Warfest Einschrock Intrude, it's in German, um, so that I think is going to be a problem, um. At least for everybody who doesn't speak German, uh, including me. Um, the back has got how to fold the tent back up. Um, I haven't even gotten the thing out of the bag, so I'm not really going to worry about how to get it back. Are they shooting at us already? Fuck's sake, man. Fourth of July. Um, I did pull these uh, poles out of this. I don't fucking know, guys. Uh, pretty much, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to get it over there. I'm going to try and set it off in front of these trees. Oh, man. Uh, this should be interesting. Thank you. Welcome back to the bowels of the suburbs of central New York. It's noisy as fuck here, guys. I don't know. Look at my dogs through that window. Hi, girls. And boy, yeah, let's see what we can do with this tent. Fuck, man. It's better to try this out now here. Uh, you know, practice with your stuff, guys. That's something I haven't said in a while. Practice with your stuff. This is new stuff. 
we're gonna practice with it we're gonna see how this goes so now I will tell you guys uh, the ground here is kind of wet um, it's oh man it's about quarter to three right now and it's 80 degrees um, but the winds blowing it's very damp everything's wet because we've had just horrible rainstorms uh, for the past two days it's supposed to be raining for the next week and you know what there's really nothing i can do about this ridiculous lawn mowing sound so i'm not even going to worry about it uh, there seems to be some uh, instructions here on the back of this bag uh, whether you can see them or not i don't know it don't really matter uh we're not even going to worry about it we're just gonna unzip this thing um oh look there's more stuff inside of this bag there's like what is this is this a ground cloth nope no this is a rain fly all right we don't need that right now and we got some tent stakes and some other shit uh, we all just you know we just want to see how this this fucking thing is gonna work uh, you know don't read the don't read the instructions guys let's see Well, um, I think I'm just supposed to take uh, this part off here. So let's get... Well, so much for a pop-up tent. Um, let's try this again, guys. Okay. All right, here we go again, guys. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe. No, nope, that's the bottom. Yeah. You guys ever seen a monkey try and fuck a football? Well, this could have been a lot worse. You know what, guys? This really is not that bad. Uh, I'll tell you. Whoa, hey now. This fucking thing's attacking me, man. Um, like I said, I did not read the instructions or anything like that, but just looking at this thing, um, I'm kind of impressed with it, guys. Uh, I know there's 10 stakes. But I'll tell you, like a tent like this, um, to have to set it up with uh, tent poles and everything, uh, be a big pain in the ass. Uh, but we can see, holy fuck, man, this thing is big. Thank you, Anonymous Camping. So far, I haven't uh, done anything with this tent yet. Um, it's blowing around in the wind, you know, the wind is my enemy, but, uh, I'll tell you, I think, I think this is a pretty cool fucking tank, guys. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, uh, I'm, I'm a little scared of trying to, you know, uh, fold it back in or whatever like that but I'm fuck man I ain't gonna worry about that now oh look at this this flops up man alive this thing is fucking cool I think I don't know um, some room in the back here what's going on here velcro yeah guys uh, man this could be the tent of 2023. This could be the tent of the summer. Um, I think what I'm gonna have to do, uh, we're gonna come back over here to this bag. There's my sunglasses, don't worry about those. I think that's the rain fly. Here's the tent stakes. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna get this thing staked in and uh, I mean, I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna get it staked in. Fuck guys, we're gonna do some camping, man. We're gonna do some outlaw camping. Thanks for coming back to outlaw camp. 
Thanks for coming back to the bowels of the suburbs of central New York. Thank you, Anonymous Camping. I am Aya. Woo! It's gonna be fucking sweet. So, alright, guys. Uh, I know that ended uh, sort of abruptly, but uh, in the interest of uh, keeping my videos uh, a little shorter and a little more watchable, um, I'm going to continue uh, my attempt at actually camping in that tent. Um, actually, uh, just a day or two after, uh, you guys <clears throat> will see it. Uh, it actually took place uh, right back there over where the old hot tent is. I don't know if you can see it. It really doesn't matter if you can't. Um, but thanks for checking this out. So if you guys want to see the, uh, you know, the Ayamaya four-person pop-up tent in action, a little more action, you want to see some ridiculous uh, outlaw camper uh, misadventure. It's, um, you know, it, it's like I said, it's fucking ridiculous, guys. Uh, just stay tuned because that'll probably be the next video that's going to come up after this. Um, but you know guys really that's about all i got and if you believe that i got a great i am i a four person pop-up tent i can sell you i'm just kidding guys um before i get out of here before i have a beer i just want to thank everybody for all the uh, support the well wishes uh, the get wells the thoughts the prayers everything that you've been sending me and the girlfriend uh she still convalesces uh she's healing as well as she can be it's still going to be a long painful just ridiculous uh i think ridiculous might be the word of this um this video but it's going to be a long long fucking time guys let me tell you so your support uh you guys watching the channel everything you know means the world to us um but that's really about all i'm going to say about that um however this is still an outlaw camper video so we need to have a beer guys um it's been a long day of just you know convalescence taking care of the girlfriend making sure everything's okay uh so this guys this uh big old genesee here it's gonna be the first of the day oh yeah man first of the day and i'm gonna drink this to uh arthur from the midwest Mm. I'll tell you guys We've been drinking a lot lately So this is fucking delicious Now Arthur from the Midwest um, I think it's a I, I wouldn't say it's a relatively new channel I don't even know how I discovered this guy But uh, he had this uh, Like camping video First time he went solo camping And then uh, he went back To try and like uh, redeem himself After that trip and then he did like a winter camp or at least camping in the snow um i think a lot of people are have just discovered him if you haven't discovered him definitely check out arthur from the midwest there will of course be a link down in the description um make sure you tell him that outlaw camper sent you um it's a great channel man the guy is just super entertaining uh, if I were you, I would just, like, his last couple videos, camping stuff, uh, you know, subscribe to him. Tell him Outlaw Camper sent you. Just look at his videos. You guys will see what I'm talking about. But, uh, Arthur, cheers, man. You got a great fucking channel. So now, Outlaws and Campers, as the uh, sun sets in the west, I'm going to have to bid you a fond farewell. Uh, please stay tuned for the second part of this, the uh, Ayamaya like testing or whatever camping kind of thing I do. It's going to be pretty fucking hilarious, I'll tell you that. And I think if I do get to get out this weekend, um, it'll be a little while before you guys see that. I think I'm going to get that tent out and try and do a spring camp in it because I ain't camped in the spring yet. But anyway, thank you guys seriously so much for joining me. Just for checking out this stuff from the archives um i may have to dig into the archives a little bit more than i want to but you know you know what are you gonna do i gotta have something for you guys to watch i appreciate all of your support as you guys all know and all really that you need to do is tell your friends tell your enemies it's outlaw camp there is cold beer expatriates are always welcome and there's never ever any extradition um, I'll see you in the next one. 
continuation of this one cheers guys thank you see you as soon as i can get that edited and posted